Metamorphosis is another subject that is important to know for the 4-H entomology contest. You're going to need to know what type of metamorphosis each insect has for the competition. And before you start thinking about metamorphosis, you kind of have to start thinking about insect, how insects grow. So we know from previous lessons that insects are covered with an exoskeleton, right? They have a hard shell that covers their body, whereas we're covered in skin, and so when our muscles grow and our bones grow, our skin stretches with that. Insects can't do that. They grow from the inside, just like we do, but their skin is essentially their skeleton on the outside, and it's hard, and it's constricting, and it keeps them small in a certain size. And so in order to get any bigger, they have to shed that skin, come out nice and soft, and then they'll harden back up again, and their exoskeleton will get, will get tough. So you can see these different images of different types of insects molting. Cicada coming out, you notice those little shells on the sides of your house during the summertime. Um, there's a, a hissing cockroach that's molting. When it comes out, it's still covered in a new exoskeleton, but see how white it is? It's really, really soft so that um, it's allowed to kind of pump up full of air and get a little bit larger. And then even this monarch butterfly um, is molting out of that pupa case, comes out as the adult that we recognize as a butterfly. So this term metamorphosis is called, is it, its definition is a change in body form. So if you look at a, a butterfly, for example, that caterpillar looks nothing like it did, or nothing like it will when it becomes the adult. They look completely different to most people. You almost wouldn't be able to connect the two as to the same insect. So metamorphosis is this change in body form, and insects change multiple times during their life to become the adults that they are. It is important to know that there are three different types of metamorphosis. If the term metamorphosis is confusing to you, you can interchange it with the term life cycle. But on the contest, you're probably going to see metamorphosis, this change in form. So an insect either has no metamorphosis, an incomplete metamorphosis, or a complete metamorphosis. No metamorphosis Another term for that is called a metabolis. Um, a means none, so no metabolis. These are really only going to be silverfish. Silverfish in the order Thysanura, um, what separates them from things that have an incomplete metamorphosis is that you don't have wings as adults. So there's only three stages. We call them the egg, the young, and then the adult. And you can see with this silverfish, um, the, the life cycle it really just changes shape. The adult gets bigger but there's no, they all just look like tinier versions of one another, right? So no metamorphosis or a metabolis is only silverfish. Incomplete metamorphosis is also called hemimetabolis. Hemi means half, so this is a half metamorphosis. It's not as complete as a, dra as a, a, a um, beetle or a butterfly, but it's halfway there. Hemimetabolis or incomplete metamorphosis has three stages, the egg, the nymph, and the adult. If it lives in the water, we'll call it a naiad, so I would know that term also. There's a lot of insects that have this, this hemimetabolis stage. It's all the mayflies, ephemeroptera, damsel and dragonflies, odonata, the stoneflies, plecoptera for the intermediates and seniors, Grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids in Orthoptera, all the cockroaches with, and termites, which are Blatodia, um, the praying mantises, Mantodia, walking sticks, Phasmatodia, Dermaptera are the earwigs, and then bark lice, Socoptera, Theroptera, which are the lice, and then it's not on here on this screen, but true bugs and thrips, which are Hemiptera. All of the true bugs are Hemiptera and thrips. So here's a clue. If you're pretty sure it's a true bug, it's got to have piercing sucking mouth parts and it has to have a hemimetabolis life cycle. So that's two questions that you could get right if you just memorize that true bugs are piercing sucking and hemimetabolis or have an incomplete metamorphosis. So here's a green stink bug and you can see it's incomplete metamorphosis. There's only three stages. There's an egg, there's a nymph that looks pretty similar to the adult but doesn't have fully developed wings and so its, its abdomen is showing and it just looks a little bit different in color. And then the larger fully developed adult with the fully developed wings. Here's a leaf-footed bug. You have eggs. Down at the bottom you have 
um, nymphs. The nymphs are kind of different than the adults look. They are red, um, t totally different color. So a lot of times you may not recognize the nymphs as the, as the baby version of that adult. But I see only three stages, which tells me it has to be hemimetabolus. If you come out of the ground like a stonefly, um, a mayfly, dragonfly, or a damselfly, you would call the immatures naiads. And so you can see on the left-hand side that's a dragonfly. Maybe it's that green darner. Um, there's the naiad that came out of the ground and what emerged from that shell is the adult. And then on the other side is, is the uh, damselflies and they're a little bit s longer and skinnier as naiads as they are as adults. Now if you have a complete metamorphosis or it's holometabolus, this is what most of us recognize as far as the life cycle goes for an insect. There's four separate stages. Mom lays an egg, egg will hatch into larva, the larva will eat and grow, and then it will spin a cocoon and make a pupa, and then it becomes an adult. A lot of times we call the larva a caterpillar or, um, well a lot of times we just call it a caterpillar, and the pupa you call a cocoon. The, the technical term to know is egg, larva, pupa, and adult. It's a caterpillar only if it becomes a butterfly or a moth. It's a maggot only if it becomes a fly. It's a grub only if it becomes a beetle. So call them larva and pupa as opposed to caterpillars and cocoons. Um, things that have a complete life cycle or metamorphosis that are holometabolous include the dobson flies, lacewings, antlions, owl flies, everyone in the neuroptera group, all of the beetles, which are coleoptera, um, the scorpion flies, which are mecoptera, the, fly, the fleas, siphonoptera, the flies, diptera, the caddis flies, trichoptera, butterflies and moths, which are lepidoptera, and then the bees, wasps, and ants, which are hymenoptera. And so here you can see there's four different, totally different stages. Mom lays an egg, egg hatches into this caterpillar or larva, the larva eats and grows, and then it becomes a pupa. Pupa hatches, it's kind of a resting stage, a lot's happening on the inside but not much movement on the outside, and then it becomes the adult. The larva and the pupa look separate from each other, very, very unique and different. The pupa and the adult look very different from each other. The stages are very unique. Um, the way that they look is very, very different. Now caterpillars or larva might be soft to the touch, but they are still covered in an exoskeleton. Their exoskeleton is just softer, which allows them to do a little bit of growth before they outgrow that skin, so they don't have to molt maybe as, as often. This is a, the life cycle of a beetle, right? So the ladybug adult lays a bunch of eggs. Those larvae are very active, eating aphids, look nothing really like the adult version of itself. Then it will kind of hunker down, shed that spiky skin, and underneath is this little humped um, starting to look more like an adult now. Uh, so there's the pupa, it's resting and changing, growing its spots, and that will split open and out will come the hard adult to start the cycle all over again. So four separate stages, very different from each other. You can also have some aquatic insects that have a complete life cycle, such as a mosquito. So diptera has um, a complete life cycle, right, or a complete metamorphosis is holometabolous. Mom lays the eggs on the surface of the water. Those eggs will hatch and there's little larvae that wiggle around underneath the, the surface of the water. They have a little tube that they stick up through the water so they can breathe and they kind of dangle head down. Then they become pupa. Pupa are unique in mosquitoes because they're active and they move. No pupa can eat though, I would know that. Pupa is the resting stage. They don't do any kind of feeding. They just prepare to become an adult. And then finally it emerges as the adult. So four separate stages, very unique from one another. Um, a, a, a larva stage, a pupa stage, an adult, adult laying the eggs. So that's what you need to know for the types of metamorphosis for the 4-H contest. Remember that there's three different types, no metamorphosis, incomplete, and complete. We also call no metamorphosis a metabolus. We call incomplete metamorphosis hemimetabolus, and we call complete metamorphosis holometabolus. It's the whole thing. There's a larva and a pupa.